Okay, back on the track. Women's 100 meter hurdles. Camacho Quinn and Kenny Harrison, the gold and silver medalist, not here, but we do have the bronze medalist, the diminutive mega tapper of Jamaica. She may just start as favorite here. So from the inside, Robinson of the USA. Don't uh, get, she doesn't have, hasn't had too many opportunities to come and race at this sort of level, but is a 12.65 performer. Similarly, Gabrielle Cunningham, she did make it to the Olympics. Finished seventh in the final, having run much quicker in the semi-final. Toby Amusan would have uh, held strong thoughts of a medal, but finished fourth, just outside of the medals in Nigeria. Then Nadine Vissa of Netherlands, consistent performer. Big new personal best in Paris recently, 12.58. Then the bronze medalist, who had a brilliant series in Tokyo. 12.53, 12.55, 12.62, those were her three times. Coached by her husband, then Cindy Semba. Sadly for the uh, British athlete, didn't make it to the final in Tokyo, Peyton Chadwick, who last year really stepped up and became a proper world-class 100-meter hurdler at this sort of level. Kojak of Hungary in lane eight, and then There'll be a huge cheer for the younger sister, Majinga Kambunji. This is Detaji Kambunji, the new European junior champion. There you go. Gets her own special introduction to this big, big crowd in the Lexicon. She'll be nervous. But what an opportunity for her here. So Megan Tapper. Nadine Visser next to her in lane four. Cindy Semba, Great Britain in six. Amusan will be harboring thoughts of a win here as well. 12.48 this year. Tapper, though, producing a personal best in Tokyo, running fast when you needed it most. Women's 100 hurdles. And I just lift them. <laughs> well, Robinson, I said she doesn't have much experience in the Diamond Leagues. A false start. I, do you know what? I, if I were her, Tim, I oh, would yeah. go and say something to the start because the crowd started clapping. Absolutely, I was I was fully expecting that to start to say stand up ladies or the equivalent because uh, yeah when there's clapping like that going on you can't expect the athletes to be a one ear cock for the starters pistol or the starting gun or buzzer or whatever it is these days. And if it was one of the more experienced athletes in diamond leagues, I think that's what they're saying. Maybe the starters marks exactly that's what he's saying. Yeah, there was clapping. I think that's fair. It shouldn't have been. Um, it should never have been a start allowed like that to me it seemed obvious that there should have been a restart a reset so we're going to get a yellow i would imagine no it's a green indeed yeah i mean it's not even i guess fair to give her a warning but a green card for everybody so just to reiterate the lineup the two americans right on the far side that's robinson and cunningham in lens one and two then we've got amusan of nigeria fourth in the olympics in lane three, Nadine Visser of Netherlands, Olympic finalist, Megan Tapper, the bronze medalist in lane five, Cindy Semper of Great Britain in six, Peyton Chadwick of USA in seven, Kojak of Hungary in eight, and the young Kambunji, the Taji Kambunji, closest to the camera here in lane nine. So hopefully the crowd, it was crowd on the far side because they've got the triple jump in front of them. Probably not realizing the race was starting. There are lots of shh going on now. Hushed crowd this time. 
Very good start as normally from Tapa. Nadine Visser is right there with her. Cunningham going well. And also Amusan coming through now. And Amusan just taking the lead here. It's Amusan leading from Visser. Amusan gets it. 12 42. That's a new personal best if it's confirmed. Well, the Nigerian has been in such good form all season. As I said, so disappointed not to win a medal at the Olympic Games. It's close. And uh, tonight, though, that might just help there. You can see it's been confirmed. 12.42, that'll be an area record as well. Vissa, brilliant run from her. New national record for the Dutch athlete as well, who continues to get better. Tapper, again, a solid run from her. But Amusan didn't get out as quick as the Jamaican, Tim. But from about hurdle five, the race was hers. Yeah, fabulous run from Amazon. I like the response from Vissa to try and catch her. She's in top form, Vissa, with that win in Brussels. And uh, she was determined to get back to the Nigerian. But Amazon was tough, stayed out in front, rebutted the challenge and actually won, what, by uh, about a metre, best part of a metre. You're right, though, it was a fabulous start for Megan Tapp with the Jamaican. She's the shortest in the field, has to really hurdle those with more technique than others. But Amazon on the far side there, brilliant over every barrier, despite the pressure from Visser, who must have been in her field of vision. She must have been aware there, and that upset some athletes. Visser sort of dragged through to that with a battle that she put up to get through to that uh, new Dutch record. 12.51 is confirmed, but Amazon 12.42, a pretty comfortable winner eventually. Three of the top four getting personal best. Peyton Chadwick joining the club. Tapper only a couple of hundreds off her best. So a really excellent hurdling from all four women. But Amazon showing that she's probably, you know, not getting close to under 12-4 now. You start getting the 12 threes and you're right up there on the all-time list. Big, big win for her though. And Vissa just continues to improve. Dutch athletics on such a high at the moment, particularly in the sprints and hurdles and there's your winner a new area record for her national record for Visser, personal best for Chadwick boy is she happy quick time Steve plus 0.4 the win conditions just about perfect here very very little breeze getting down onto the stadium floor of the Letzegrund we can go over to the women's triple jump now as uh, 